there you can see the rain is now teeming out of the sky. Can you see that, everybody? Those streaks that you can see in the background there are, is rain teeming out of the sky. I do think we need to give this lens a bit of a wash, which we'll try a little bit later. It seems a bit misty. That might just be on account of the fact that we're pretty much sitting in a cloud. Okay, I want to go and look down and show you how the migration herds have arrived in this area. You will notice, of course, that uh, the last time I showed you this picture, or Steph showed it to you, or whoever showed it to you, there were no wildebeest on these hills at all. Well, there are some there. Now, that is not, as uh, I have said many times, and so to the extent that it's become a bit of a cliché, uh, three wildebeest do not a migration make, in the same way that one swallow does not a summer make. But as I pan from side to side, you will be able to see that the front runners of the wildebeest are definitely in this area, and I'll show you where I saw herds of, well, I'm going to guess it was sitting at around 20 or 30,000 yesterday. And they were up in the marshlands over down yonder there. Beyond that line of green trees. That's a beautiful picture. I wonder why it looks like that. We'll try and fix that a little bit later. I think there's a bit of mist over the camera lens. Anyway, those were covered in wildebeest. And so there are lots up here at the moment. And I wonder if I shouldn't tell you, no, I believe Scott Dyson actually has some of the lions that are hunting right now.